Walter Benjamin's essay, The Work of Art in the Age of Mechanical Reproduction, explores the socio-political effects of the mass reproduction of images, the concept of aura and its death, the evolution of technologies for reproduction, and how these technologies can be both inclusive and isolating. While works of art have always been reproducible, mechanical reproduction is relatively new. Woodcut, print, lithography, and photography are all examples of reproductive technologies. It is important to note that this essay by Benjamin was written prior to the advent of television, and the kind of reproduction of artworks Benjamin speaks of is mainly lithography and photography of artworks. Benjamin's work describes the loss of aura. In his essay, he says, Even the most perfect reproduction of a work of art is lacking in one element, its presence in time and space, its unique existence at the place where it happens to be. Many of today's works of art are made digitally, and there is no one authentic original work because they are made by the digital reproductive processes. An artwork's unique existence is shattered in favor of a plurality of copies. Human sense perception has changed over time. We are conditioned by life filled with mechanical reproduction to separate unique objects from their aura and place their value at an equal level with every other art object. For example, I can Google search the Madonna of the Rocks by Leonardo da Vinci and La Grande Jete by George Serrault, and they will both appear as JPEG files on my computer screen, not inherently different from one another. In this way, perception is changing for the masses. Mechanical reproduction cuts off an artwork's original attachment to ritual and tradition. Authenticity is unable to be found in artistic production such as photography. Therefore, the artwork is not based in ritual, instead it is based in politics. The point of view of the camera photographs for the purpose of political commentary. The way the art is intended to be received changes the way it is created. For example, the steerage photograph by Alfred Stieglitz, taken in 1907, is a political commentary on class differences in shared space. When considering film as an emerging medium, Benjamin compares the painter to the cameraman, saying that the painter keeps a distance from reality in their painting, like a magician while the cameraman cuts into reality like a surgeon, and represents it in a series of fragments arranged under the law of film. Nonetheless, when the camera captures a subject, that person's aura is not preserved in the playback of the film. The audience's relation to the actor is actually a relation to the camera that has captured the actor's image. There is no replica for a living person's aura. This is why stage plays have a different kind of performance and identification that cannot be replicated. When considering art's effect on the masses, it is important to note the type of spectatorship. Painting does not create a simultaneous collective experience, like drawing an audience all at the same time, in the way a movie does. Film has its advantages and disadvantages as an art form, and one of the disadvantages is that film does not encourage contemplation on a single image like a painting does. The image of the film disappears too quickly to consider it deeply. This effect has been criticized by art reviewers claiming that the medium feeds the mind exactly the feelings and thoughts they should have. Critics have stated that the appeal of film to the masses fosters distraction and low-level thought that could not compare with single images concentration.